I'm studying engineering and related design at Golan College, Booster Campus, and this is my workshop. These are my images. <laughs> room for growth within the field that I felt like I could have missed out on the opportunities that it bring. And with us being in the fourth industrial revolution, there is a whole lot of opportunities, especially for women within the field. And it's the kind of field where you learn and you grow because everything is intertwined and everything is connected. Like mechanical engineering, you learn a bit about electrical engineering and so on and so on. touch on a bit of everything. Like I get theoretical skills as well as practical, which are a great, great combination when you are coming into the working environment. And um, I feel like in a team at college, you, you learn so much and there's so much more room for growth, but the people are willing to assist you and be like, you can do this. Because I've heard most of my lecturers be like, girl, you might be a girl, but your work with the spinner is amazing. So I, I, it's encouraging and there's a lot of people go to the interior college, I think. I see myself as an engineer. <laughs> <laughs> In 10 years' time, I'd like to be an engineer, um, but I'd also like to run a company for my own because the program enables us, it, it gives us entrepreneurial skills, so I can not only seek a job, but it can also create jobs for other people. Which Get golden. Go to the college, find out what you want to do, do some research, like you can do your own research and then go there. The people there are always ready and willing to help you select whatever you may want to pursue and they are willing to guide you. So if you go to a college, there's definitely going to be someone who's friendly enough to tell you, listen, if you go here, you're going to pursue this and then you're going to move further up with it. And I think that's what the whole TVET system is about. It's about developing people and improving people according to what they want to do. For current students studying engineering, I'd say hang in there. It's worth it. In the end, it's definitely worth it because you're going to read such great rewards. But for those who are not in the field yet, especially young women, I think young women should come into engineering. It's not as difficult as it's made out to be. It's, it's a very I don't know how to put this, but it's a very challenging field, but you need to train yourself. You need to give yourself time to be able to do everything. So for young women, I'd say come into the field because there's such a big field for growth. There's so, so much growth that you can have within this field. And it's because it's such a scarce field, I mean, it's such scarce skills, um, women can grow to great heights. Yes, I am definitely a big advocate for female engineering, especially because I am the only female in my class, which gets quite boring sometimes. <laughs> Boys. <laughs> but um, I really am an advocate, especially for female in engineering, because it's not what it's made out to be. That's what I can say to women. It's not what it's made out to be. It's not as difficult as people will tell you, oh, I want to go to engineering. Oh, that's hard. No, that's for men. No, it's not for men. I'm out here. I work with the top range guys. <laughs> and I open engines and I'm able to put an engine back together and I'm this small. So I think it's, try it. You'll see there's room for growth and there's so much you can go into after you study this. You can change into welding, you can go into fitting, you can go into boiler making, you can go into auto.